Think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We picked up a job from a Signog at Mantlos while you were off looking for the mud. What job? The less you know, the better. Soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this powerful? <sighs> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that means Magus chose it. Probably because of the cortex and how it can provide instant access to all believers everywhere. So we're gonna shut the door in its ugly face Ruin its big day and kick it when it's down. Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo is always for sure. Welcome back. Hey, we've got an army of church goods between us and the cortex. You coming? No. Cosmo is retaking power of security where his pots are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pots too. Gotcha. Careful up there, buddy. That floaty my guy is really starting to tick me off. So, let's take that switch next soldier out then. security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to slug. Great love. I think I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. And you know that... I have seen them. Many times. Drax, a little help, Evo. Readily. Over here, hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Cool, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <sighs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. Ooh. Did you guys know? Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. This looks strong enough to anchor to. Yep, name the spot. Mm. 
What's in all those towers and pods? There ain't no zone in here, so it could be anything. What do you see? Um, same stuff, but higher. Valid question. Many homes are made from wood. Groot, don't listen to the scary man. <laughs> Careful, this place is practically falling apart. Could be all of nowhere looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. It used to. <laughs> Hurry up, Will. I ain't got all day. Work is worth more than your worth, Quill. Hey, Groot. Think you can get me up there? I am Groot. Right about there. Were they just up and left all this once they discovered the Cortex? If by up and left you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. We don't have to. like metal and I don't know something else Creo. what's that it's the waste product of a large Cantathian slug I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of it is unmistakable <sighs> give me a tick I'll be right there I could really use a flark and drink right now. Oh! Tremors have intensified! That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. For all we know, that thing's about to blow. I've been thinking. Oh, what have they done to you? What do the buyers do with all of the brain matter? They buy bone scrapes and spinal fluid, too. Why? They're mostly scientists, trying to understand the mysteries of the universe or create the next big weapon. My baby. You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Why do the mightiest powers of the universe not intervene against the church? Galactus, the stranger, the living tribunal. They didn't show up for the Galactic War either, and we won it without them. Your mistake is thinking they give a single flark about the rest of us. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. We'll blow it up if that's what it takes. We're dealing with power we've never seen before. No way we'd survive that. I will do it. While the rest of you flee, it would be an honor. You don't know nothing about explosives. And this is Flarkin' nowhere, man. I ain't blowing up nowhere. Or any of us. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness.
Listen, guys! Put their lights up! Getting real sick of these skips bringing more crew! Make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right. Easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Now is clearly not the time for that. Careful. Gets a little... Whoa, 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 whoa! Over here! Guess we're climbing brains again. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. Careful. Gets a little. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, stunt flyers! Record tracks. Roof, slow down. Bringing back war memories. Glad I sat that one out. Rookie. I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill. Yeah! Go, 
Let's show them they mess with the wrong freaking team! You think I've learned the lesson by now? Show them the lesson! Got a feeling we ain't gonna like what's on the other side of this! Whatever horror show we find, we're ending it! battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be saved, Peter Quill. Let's not use the F word. We're not gonna lose her again. Everyone quiet. What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into them. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there. But how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Here's your chance, Gamora! We should be able to slice into them! Do not cut into that cable unless you want to be the saddest woman in the whole galaxy. <laughs> Some help! 
It's okay, I got you. Get your hands off me! Why do you insist on ruining everything? If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> this... <laughs> a minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? The Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. To... Please, give me an excuse to kill. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. Yeah, power down. Power down. Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's gotta be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's gotta have something. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <coughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front.
Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am Groot. So would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? <laughs> Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond... Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, no, but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going. To Mach To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. Okay. Oh, a little 
bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> Laughing, that's good. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how Quill parks, anyways. <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, well, whoa, well, well, we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Albender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now, listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So traju to pluk, heldagor morgat, soltas glandergat. Really? We're doing this? Argat gonatol. Bol mal di ultat, go time to gal mak. Targat gol na gol, vol mak di ultat, go time to gal mak. Pel ma fin sardut, jod kai na gol tau. Goth and Kogal Mak. Pelmari Sadut. Jukana Galtau. Goth and Kogal Mak. Gal Mak, Gal Mak, Solta Flander Gath. What does that last line mean, Drax? Solta Flander Gath. It means. We will be victorious. The Milano isn't going to self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I got to tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. We're going to pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. Bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. But I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no Foom Foom. We should look for Katathian Hunt. Oh, oh, <laughs> the legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. Milano's got some new scars to brag about. After we're done saving the galaxy, people are gonna throw money at us, right? I'm treating her to a tune up. Watch out! This place is falling apart. Uh, we did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Maku 4, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? Uh, maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Oh, these cliffs grow increasingly unstable with every impact. Perfect! The sky is literally falling here! Looks like a dead end. 
All right, Drax. Let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, uh, pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. See? Nothing to fear. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be your last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. You can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead. Does it have big scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? Near Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foon? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here wanting to die, didn't they? Most Katathians believe that in order to reach paradise, Ultaf. You must live a life filled with purpose. Failure to achieve this results in banishment to Sarduth. The bad place. It is not a place. It is non-existence. Kinda like what's gonna happen to the whole galaxy if the church gets its way. Indeed. So if Baker completes this what? unreal and it'll get you killed if you don't control it which is why we don't rush in we take our time and we bring them down who's with me feel my wrath nice one peter you said deadliest woman in fucking looking to really work out no mercy hit him down brute This beast! You will capture Hulk! It is our destiny! For the sake of the galaxy, I hope you're right! That's one mole-infested kitty cord! Yes! Now bring on Fin Fang Foom! Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I figured. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right, but 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the Church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. <gasps> Flark and Hella! Whoa. Got a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Fooms, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah. Uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. This place has way too many caves and crevices, probably filled with nasty surprises. Fortunately for us, we travel with the nastiest of all surprises. Mora, 
I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foo's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. Legends do tell that Fin Fang Foom stalking Maku's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. Incoming! So step two of your plan is crushing us all? I think I see what he's up to. Yeah, crushing us all! I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we got ourselves a ah! Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need this. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd listened to you from the start and just gone after Foom, then we'd probably be dead. We so weren't ready before. I was born ready. Couldn't Boom have picked a warmer planet to call home? Perhaps the endless magma ocean of Corberus 6. Or the perpetual razor glass storms of Celesti Prime. Everyone get ready. There's something up ahead. I'm pretty sure it sees us, whatever it is. Great, more Boom food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything. Surprise the perils of this planet. Good advice. Light them up! Report them down! Couldn't it be too cold for worms on this planet? They shelter inside the rocks, Peter Quill! And come out only to feast from the dead! Chop them up! Drag sack them! At this rate, I'm worried we won't have time to save Nikki! Continues. Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual? Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let us hope we are not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through. We're in a rush, apparently. There, see? More ominous peaks. But this planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not. Smart ones do. What's with all them rectangles? Monoliths. Fine. What's with all them monoliths? It's possible they are ley lines, which may lead us directly to Fin Fang Foom. Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would-be adversaries. Oh, Lady Hellbender legends all over again. Well played, Kakaranthara! Careful. That's deadly gas. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Power thing. I want full credit. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me. Now.
I've got just the Drax for this. With ease! Instead of giving her hope, any chance Lady Ape might settle for a few of these. In the initiative. So Trajo to Glock. So Trajo to Glock. Heldador Morgan. So Tad Flander Gar. What's taking so long? Trajo to Glock, Helda Gomaga, Solta Flandergath. Uh, anyone ever tell you you got an enchanting voice? I'm not being mean, I'm serious. You push, I'll watch. It will give way under my might. Nice! Who won't know what hit him? We'll be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Honestly, after everything we've been through, there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I flarkin' love you guys. Uh, gross. Some things are better left unsaid, Peter. Yeah, way to ruin it. Let's just get back to catching Boom and saving the galaxy. I am in love with you as well, Peter Quill. Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead! Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, lead them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Carve through the rest. Loving the murdering spirit, just keep in mind not everybody out there is hostile. It could just be a settlement. That's a dangerous assumption, especially now when everything hinges on us pulling this off. Right. And we're definitely gonna hand Raker his ass and get Nikki back. But then, afterward, we're also gonna have to find a way to get back to normal. This is my normal, Peter. Trust me. Right now you need me in murder mode. Just save some of it for the real bad guys. Maybe dial it back to a high seven for now. Hmm. Maybe a low nine. Come on. Pelmafin Sardut. Boom! It's foam! Yes! Or going to go in a huge market rock! Yes! I am good. Yeah, Ominous is right! Targat gone at coal. Bull Malki will die. on your sliding pants. Watch out! That's a lot of depth spikes! It's a good thing my skin is so resistant!
looking for Fin Fang Foom. You seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth, purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Felt that one, too. And that one. us this day, my friends. But this almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. How did you know your guns would work back there? What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so... <clears throat> I can't... jump! It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Eutraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. Quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Groot's practically naked. Groot don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. How do we get across this gunk? Perhaps we can leap to the ledge above. I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, of course not. Steady breathing is essential to an effective leap. mortals and allow the Meltonator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope. No. Good thing that rock tried to murder us and we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. It's when people I care about are in danger, and then I get this feeling. Oh, I get it. It's like uh, faith energy. No, it's not like... Relax. I believe you. Heave <laughs> <sighs> it, Groot. Up we go. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Where'd they go? What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Where'd he go? See? He just wanted to. Okay. Now we know they're all around us. Check 
knock out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for the ah, It burns! Groot says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. Those things grow in a frozen hellscape. I think they're made of sturdier stuff than that. I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. With nowhere and contracts erect, all of our favorite drinking holes are gone. The Milano is still intact. Mostly. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn! Ha <laughs> Nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Groot says those plants deserve it. Keep it up. I'm actually starting to get warm. Another plant falls to Captain Heatglob. Maklu 4 is beautiful, its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted, well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or stupid. I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. Wendigo. So much for not holding a grudge. More? Oh! 
Move it! Yes! Bring me more! No one takes joy in their work like you, Jack! You guys get a load of that wreck, Jack? Guys, huddle up! Why have you called us off the battlefield, Peter Quill? Our enemies are melting before us! <laughs> like butter on a hot knife. <laughs> Somebody bring me some bread. I have fought many battles, my friends, but none so magnificent as this. <laughs> it is magnificent, Drax. Unbelievably, insanely magnificent. <laughs> right? Like a fork in supernova. So stay on track, keep your eyes open, and shoot for the stars. Who's with me? Who top field Let's must win? Let's do this! The more I slice him up, Rocky! What? I can't believe those snow monkeys got to jump on us! Now it is I who will jump on them! I'll enjoy this! Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I am Groot. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. All right, Groot, give me a boost. I am Groot. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. an ice planet. Or you have ice again. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them. They're dead. They say Fin Fang Foom is a foe unlike any one could imagine. I mean, he's basically a dragon from the fairy tales on Earth. Ridiculous. This is not some Terran tale of fairies. He was a great reptilian beast, gifted with flight and a rage so hot he breathes fire. Right. My mistake. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Any more hostiles. A nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What's barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs. Why would you consume the ribs of an infant? 
Told you Terrans were barbaric. No, it's not. Trust me. You guys have got to try it. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. You still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. And it's done. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Ain't this a nice bench? Perfect for tinkering. I could really use a flark and drink right now. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. <laughs> 